All right, I wanted to see how uh, accurate this thing outputs the data, or um, not data, outputs signals on the uh, channels. So the first test I'm going to do is an oscilloscope test. So I'm going to do a center frequency of 10 megahertz and a span of um, oops, uh, let's see here, a center of 10 megahertz and a span of zero and so it should be outputting 10 megahertz um, and there we go we have a square wave which is interesting not a sine wave so I think that's probably not the best um, it does say that it's a uh, 10 megahertz here on the uh, on the Rigel um, we'll go ahead. Uh, the second test I'm going to do is accuracy on a um, on a frequency meter. But the first thing to do is just to take a look at the data here um, on the oscilloscope. So let's change the frequency to um, let's change the frequency to 20 megahertz. Did that do anything? No, it didn't. Let's see here. Center. I'm not quite sure how to use the entire menu system here. Span of zero and huh. Oh, center. Twenty megahertz. Span of zero. Huh. Well why isn't the oscilloscope showing 20 megahertz? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we're, uh, if we're at one on auto. If I disconnect the... Uh, huh. Hmm. Let, me, uh, let me play with the menu here a bit and I'll get back. Alright, I think I figured it out here. So. Here's a 20 megahertz. Uh, what you do is you go to the stimulus, you hit CW frequency, you put in the frequency that you want, let's say 50 megahertz, and uh, there we go. So we're starting to round off a bit. Let's do 100 megahertz. All right, had a little camera problems there. So let's do, um, I think we were at 50 megahertz. Let's go back to 50 megahertz. Uh, there we go. There's 50 megahertz. Let's go to um, 100 megahertz, which is the top end of my oscilloscope. There we go. So that round off is probably a oscilloscope. All right. So uh, let's go over to the uh, frequency counter and see how accurate these uh, frequencies are. All right, uh, I have it set to five megahertz. Let's go down to uh, let's go down to one megahertz just for fun. Uh, one megahertz. So there we go, ninety nine nine point nine nine five. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's go to ten megahertz. Again, we're off by 5 hertz. Let's go to 100. Let's see here. 100 megahertz. Hundred megahertz. We're off by a little bit more. But gosh, it's pretty good. And let's go to uh, 500 megahertz. So this frequency counter has uh, got a reference um, of a rubidium, so it's very accurate. Um, why is this not working? I think it's because my counter can't do 500 megahertz on channel A. We have to go to channel C. Channel A is only good to 100 megahertz. Uh, channel C is good to a gigahertz. 
Um, let's see here. Channel C. Uh, trigger level. Why are we on a wrong frequency? We should be at 500 megahertz. Let's go back to 100 megahertz. There we go. So 100 megahertz is working. Let's go to 200 megahertz. That's fine. 300 megahertz. That's fine. 400 megahertz. Four hundred megahertz. Four mega hundred mega it's not working. Let's go back to three hundred. So I think in CW conditions you can only go up to three hundred megahertz. I think that's I think that's some limitation of the um, of the system. I know that originally it only went to 300 megahertz, and then they pushed it up to uh, up past that. And I think they pushed it to 800 megahertz, and then they finally changed the firmware to get to uh, 900 megahertz. But I think they're playing some games there. So I think for CW frequencies, we are limited in what we can do. So we can actually get a good 300 megahertz. Let's do... Three fifty. Yeah, and then at uh, three fifty it breaks. So three hundred megahertz is this max you can go on CW. So that's a good thing to know. Um, I don't know how they accomplish the um, the scanning um, up to nine hundred megahertz. So that would be interesting to learn. Uh, probably some limitations of the chipsets that they're using. All right. But you can see that, uh, let's put it back to, um, let's put it back to 100 megahertz. You can see that it's pretty, pretty accurate. Supposedly it has a temperature controlled oscillator. Um, I don't think it's one that you can adjust. Um, I think it's fixed, so this is probably within tolerance of their fixed uh, frequency, but um, um, certainly good to, let's see, 1%, percent something like that, so <laughs> uh, not too bad at all. All right.